hello guys welcome to my channel today uh, we will see how to access land surface temperature using arcgis pro from uh, arcgis living atlas so we will uh, try to uh, extract uh, land surface temperature average land surface temperature for a specific area around this area this is my ship file in the we will use arcgis uh, living atlas so first we need to add the data from uh, living atlas so go to your add data button and from this uh, we have different option of uh, portals to add different data so select this living atlas in the search uh, the data as multispectral landsat so we are going to ext extract the surface temperature from this uh, multispectral landsat image so select it and uh, click ok this will take uh, a couple of minutes because it covers the entire world it will be very big data so we have to wait until the data is added to your uh, map canvas So as you can see, we have added our multispectral landsat image. The image starts from 1972, July 25 to current day or until 9th November 2019. It is a, a multidimensional or a multi-date or temporal, a high resolution temporal uh, satellite image. It contains many different uh, data. So, uh, the multispectral Landsat imagery includes Landsat uh, GLS, Landsat 8, and the Landsat 9 imagery. So this layer is uh, time enabled and updated uh, daily with the new imagery. So first, uh, before we extract land surface temperature, we need to configure the layer property of this uh, image. So uh, this multispectral Landsat imagery contains decades of information for many visualization types. So to select the correct visualization for land surface temperature we need to uh, configure the processing template the mosaic operator and the definition query in the layer property of the image so first right click on the multispectral landsat layer and then property here we have uh, different options so first uh, for the processing template select this portrait so for the processing template, select uh, band 10, surface temperature in degree Celsius, select this one. Yeah, so, uh, so the multi-spectral uh, uh, land surface temperature measure with this layer uh, contains a measure of uh, thermal uh, energy that is emitted from the land surface uh, into emits that approximate surface temperature in either degree centigrade or Fahrenheit. So uh, first we have to select this band 10 surface temperature in degree Celsius. This will uh, display the image in the Telmar band or band 10 of uh, Landsat 8 image. So uh, the layer also uh, contains or the layers that are made up of uh, cells uh, such as imagery or like uh, multispectral imagery uh, may contain includes or overlapping of cells. So we need to take the average value of this overlapping cells. So in this case the mosaic operator allows us to define how these overlapping cells are uh, resolved. So in this case, we will use uh, or we will set the mosaic operator to mean uh, value. So select this uh, mosaic. We are going to take the mean or average value of these overlapping cells because it is uh, a data from a decade. So we need to take the average or mean value of the, uh, each cells. So select this tab or mosaic tab and then uh, for mosaic method, 
we are going to select <coughs> mean value for mosaic operator so we have fixed the average or the mean value of the sales to be displayed so uh, Imagery layer may also contain images that are uh, not necessary for driving land surface temperature. In this case, the multispectral Landsat imagery layer uh, specifically contains clouds and the cloud shadows, which could uh, interfere with the land surface extraction analysis. So, using the definition query to filter out this uh, cloud image would improve the overall quality of you, your analysis. So, you have to fix or you have to select an image which contains a cloud cover of 0 0.05 or less than so click this definition query so we can delete this one then click this new definition query then select where uh, cloud cover is uh, less or equals to 0 0.05 so here select cloud cover is equal or less or equals to or less than or equals to in the u 0 0.05 we are going to filter the image by this cloud cover then you can apply then we can uh, click apply to the changes we have made so uh, due to the global coverage of the layer and the changes that we have made to the layer property it may take a couple of minutes for the symbology for uh, the image to be rendered. so we have displayed the image or we have uh, Display the multispectral and satellite imagery in uh, band thin thermal information or land surface temperature. It uh, shows this value which ranges from this to this value. So we are going to modify the simplology in order to display the temperature in different value. Uh, before that, we are uh, going to clip uh, or copy this image to the uh, area of interest, which is to my this uh, local area, Arab Town. To do so, we are going to use a copy raster tool in a data management tool. So you can search copy raster here, or you can go to the data management tool and select the copy raster tool. So for the input, we will use a multispectral image. And we have to specify the output location of our file name. And for environment, we have to fix the porting extent to the uh, layer or to this layer. So choice by extent and I select this uh, shape file. Give the output file name. The format will be uh, in T format.
so once we have fixed the parameters you can run the process Yeah, copy raster is completed. So as you can see, you can untick this one and uh, the under surface temperature, which is average line interface temperature for this specific area is extracted like this. You can change the color or the symbology of the layer. You can use uh, different symbolization. And you can fix the statistics as uh, DRA. The stretch will be in minimum in the maximum value like this yeah you can change your symbology you can invert it. so this is uh, my surface temperature that ranges from 90.6 degree centigrade to 37.42 degrees celsius so this is the way how we can extract land surface temperature, average land surface temperature using ArcGIS Living Atlas uh, data portal. So this is all about my to-do tutorial. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in the next tutorial. Uh, goodbye.